today we're going to do um, a toning sequence from the Spark Bar uh, that we call L's. So this is a actually very frequently requested floor, um, floor leg routine. So all you need to use is yourself and a mat, okay? So you're going to start laying on your side. And you're going to lay all the way down and place your ear on your bicep. Stacking your shoulders and your hips. Good. You're going to take your top hand, bring your fingertips forward, tree frog fingers, and then you're going to take your legs forward to a 90 degree angle from the hip. So you're going to bring your legs forward, stack them and flex them. And just take a look and see what your angle is. So again, you want your heels coming straight forward from your hip line. Feet are flexed, they're stacked. Belly is in core's engaged. And top hand is forward. So you're going to take the top leg to start. You're going to lift it up. We're going to internally rotate the leg and bring it down toward the big toe. Then you're going to lift, externally rotate from the hip, heel toward heel. So you can lift, internally rotate, squeeze, resist, externally rotate, and resist. So you're going to go nice and slow. You're going to breathe. And you're going to articulate this as best you can with the range of motion that you have. So just go nice and slow. Think about bringing the toe, big toe towards the big toe, and then the heel toward the heel. Good. We're going to do a couple more of these. Good. And then one more, and then heel to heel. Good. And then stack the legs. Now you're going to bend both the knees and bring the heels back toward the hips, but the legs, feet are going to stay in the air. So the knees are down, heels are up in the air. You're going to hinge the inside edge of the feet together. So the big toe edge of the foot down to the heel is going to stick together like a hinge. You're going to squeeze and resist, open the top leg. And then slowly squeeze and resist the knee toward the knee. So again, I'm exhaling, activating the exhale, drawing the navel in, keeping the hips stacked. Squeeze, resist up, and resist together. Good, resist up, and resist together. So you're going to go nice and slow. You want to use as much muscle as you can. Let's do a couple more. And again, find that inhale and exhale. Good, let's do two more of those. Open and close, squeeze and resist, and then lower. Good. Give me one more. Hold it down, and the bottom leg is going to drop exactly where it is, and you're going to extend the top leg forward again at that 90 degree angle and internally rotate um, the foot from the hip. So you're going to lift with resistance and squeeze down toward the floor. So you're going to lift with resistance and squeeze down. So again, not a huge range of motion, but nice and controlled. Lift and lower, inhale and exhale with resistance. Now, we're going to keep this going, make it a little more challenging. You're going to come up to your forearm. So you're going to come up to your forearm and you're going to continue to lower and lift, lower and lift. Good. Let's do two more. Now you can stay at this level or the previous, or you can come up to the most challenging level, which would be lift all the way up onto the arm and the knee, and you're going to do a little pulse. We're going to pulse down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very carefully bring your seat down. Take the working leg, bring it across into a twist stretch, place that foot on the floor, lift up nice and tall, and allow this working leg sit bone to sink back down to the floor. Take a big breath. And then turn that into a twist. So you're just going to hug this knee in a little bit more. Take that side hand, whatever it is, the right side, fingertips on the floor. Lift up nice and tall and just a little twist. Look over your shoulder. Big breath. 
and then carefully rotate forward, release the leg when I switch sides. So let's come onto the other hip, lengthen out, lay all the way down again, rest your ear on your bicep, take those legs forward one at a time, again 90 degree angle from the hip, flex the feet, stack, take a big breath, stack hip, stack, stack shoulders, top hand comes forward, light fingertips on the floor. So we're going to lift the top leg and we're going to do that rotation. So you're going to internally rotate big toe toward big toe, externally rotate heel to heel. Good. Internally rotate and then again find your breath, activate your exhale. So what I mean by that is when you exhale you're going to draw in, pull pubic bone to navel, in with the, ex in, in with the exhale and then expand with the inhale. So you're going to lift, And again, just articulate this as best you can, internally rotating nice and slow, externally rotating with control. Big breath, nice and slow. Good, let's do one more on this. And then bring those feet down, stack. Bend the knees, bring the feet back and up. And again, you're going to hinge together the big toe edges of the feet. Make a hinge. Fingertips light again. Big breath. You're going to open with resistance nice and slow. And then squeeze closed. Good. So open with control. And squeeze closed. Good. Squeeze open. And again, nice and slow. Good. Keep breathing. Use as much resistance as you can. Really trying to focus on this outside thigh as you lift and lower. Good. Two more. Good. Now let the bottom leg um, come to the floor. Extend the top leg forward. Internally rotate and you're going to lift and lower. Lift. And lower. Good. So nice and slow with lots of control. Big breath. Good. So you can stay here at this level or you could get come up to form and bring it down and up. Good. And then again if you want to you can stay right here or go back to the previous level or you can come all the way up and we're going to pulse down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that hip to the floor. Bring that foot right over the knee there and just lower the working leg, sit bone to the floor. Take a big breath. Whew. Yikes. That always works, no doubt. Turn that into a little twist, stretch, look over your shoulder, big breath. Good. And then very carefully, easily, gently unwind forward. Good. You can continue to stretch here, cross one leg in front of the other, tip forward from your hip, and lengthen over those legs. Stretch. And then walk your hands back, switch. Bring the other foot in front. Inhale up, keep those sit bones engaged on the floor. Tip forward and stretch. Big breath. Good, and then very carefully walk your fingertips back. Roll your spine up nice and tall. So if you still feel a lot of tension in your hip or in your legs, keep stretching until you feel like that tension has been released and you feel a little bit better. So if you have any questions, get in touch with me through the Facebook page on Spark for Fitness or check out my website, sparkforfitness.com. And thank you guys. See you soon.